what it is. I had to do a vi this video. The sneaker world is on fire right now with Kanye and everything going on right now. And I don't know if Nike purposely did this for today. I mean, for tomorrow. But they released the news today saying they're going to drop six Nike Dunk Low. You know, Nike SB Dunk Lows. Let's get that right. A lot of these people want it. They still want. Um, a lot of people are paying resale for these. So to get a restock, it, 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 it's... This is this is a good day to end the sneaker day. You know, it's like the sneaker news, it was kind of like, uh, you know, on the negative side. And, you know, not to take shots at no brands or nothing like that, but it's like to get this news, it's like, okay, it's what it is now. Now, we do know from a business standpoint, this is huge. Because now Nike say, okay, Adidas, y'all did this, charging them people cards, this and that. Just to end a raffle, well, guess what? We're going to give people some dunks. Now, obviously, it's going to be more L's than W's. So, it's going to be some hurt feelings. And then, that's when the feelings going to settle in, how they settle in. But, I'm going to break down the six dunks that's supposed to be released in tomorrow. And, uh, let's give you a little uh, info on these joints, man. By the time I post this video, it'll probably be, you know, after midnight or close to it. But, y'all know what I mean. Supposed to be February 27th. They don't know a time that the sneakers reserve is going to happen. So, y'all got to keep it locked, man, to the IG and to the YouTube, all right? So I'm going to break this down. We're going to go over these sneakers. And I'm excited. I really am. Because I was going to buy some of these resale. And I'm more retail gang so I get a chance, you know? So, the first dunk we, I'm going to discuss is the Nike SB Dunk Low Fog. They came out in 2021, 2023. And of course, they're going to restart tomorrow. Them things is smooth, man. I think these are these right here, they low key. You know, if you're not into dunk, so you're not a skateboarder, you might say, you know what, I'm a pet. No, I'm telling you, these, the suede is nice. The gray check with the gum bottom, nice contrast. Oh, yeah, you wear them out, man. You just construct your fit a certain way. Even if you just want to throw on a white tee, a gray tee, a black tee, and you just vibe. These is, they smooth. I'm telling you, for $115, what I know they resell as, $115, you can't go wrong with these. And this is like a real dunk. It, it don't look like a, a tongue is smaller or nothing like that. The quality is dear. These definitely on my radar. I'm going for them, man. So hopefully y'all boys try for these too, you know. The next Nike Dunk I'm going to discuss is the Nike SB Dunk Low Adobe. Nah, like they say, it ain't about no program or nothing like that. So what I'm going to what I'm going to read to y'all is off Sneaker News or Nike SB Skateboard, you know, Nike Skateboarding for, for y'all to know. I ain't constructed this. This is what they say. So the Nike SB Dunk Low Photoshop, Illust Photoshop Illustrator. And the and the light, the colorway actually nods to a type of clay. One that is typically formed into sun-dried blocks and used for construction. The building's material, light brown, almost red, red tinted color, is present throughout the Nike, throughout the Dunk Low Pro's upper dime. Everything from its overlays to its tongue and the swoosh. Moreover, gum bottoms, gum bottoms sit underfoot. And white neutrals mark both the tongue label as well as the lining. These right here, um, last I checked, it was going a little under retail. Of course, with fees, you're still going to get back over that. Um, they clean, but a lot of people ain't rocking with them, I feel, just because, you know, it's something to where you, you got to come right with this because it's hard to match. Um, also, you know, skateboarders, it don't matter. They slapping them on. So, hopefully... More the skateboarders can get this pair. Um, y'all deserve them. We know that it's y'all element. It's y'all thing. It's y'all world. We living in it. Even though I will say some rappers, we, we make these dunks fire. But in the in the skating community, we they don't care about that. You get the flyest pair of Nike SB dunks, and you're going to scuff them up, and you get respect. Looking clean, that ain't mean. So the Nike SB dunk low, Adobe. Dumb joints right there, Adobe. Them joints is clean now, so y'all boys try to get a pair of them. The next pair I'm going to discuss 
is the Nike SB Dunk Low Tight Boot. Now, this pair right here is special to some and is basic to others. Now, as for me, I tried for them. I didn't hit. I'm like, if they, they were going for 125, 135. Why not try to hit? You know, I just, I, you know, it's hard to get dunked. So I guess in the times being, if they're going to they gonna pump them out, I'm going to try to get a pair. But it didn't hurt me not to get them. Um, the Nike, the Nike SB Dunk Low Tight Booth, it released in November 2023. So it just came out. Um, some info on them. In 2005, a crew in Osaka, led by Shinpi Yuno, shined a light on the nocturnal artistry of Japanese skateboarding. Through his travels in 15 years, crafting the underground video lens, Yuno's helped to document and spread the quick foot style and explorations of color and environment that have become a hallmark of his local scene in the type boost visual aesthetic. Born out of born out of necessity, the Nike SB Dunk Low type boost draws from the feeling and freedom of nights in the streets with a mixed suede and tumble leather upper, with textural overlays that emulate the metal crates they they encounter and employ in the after dark sessions. Key cone branding and subtle pops of orange on the woven late labels and sock line that bring the spirit and synergy of Taipu's visual identity to the dunk low with multiple reflective areas incorpor incorporated throughout the upper. So this sneaker, it got ridges on them. It's, it's just something where I seen them in person on someone's foot and he's walking, I'm like, they clean. They just, you know, I hate to say this. Some people could say, oh, it's just like a panda dunk. It's a lot of black and white. That's true. First thing you see is white, but when you get up on them, you see the, the details in them, them ridges, like, you know, y'all would have to see them, but I'm y'all see the pics, y'all know why I'm getting that. So, hey, man, it's a dunk at the end of the day. If you don't want them, you don't want them. Most people want what they can't have. I know y'all gonna try for, any, for them anyway. So, moving right along, you know, we going into the, we going into this fun list now, these dunks, it's a lot. Listen, man, not just the education. It's just the, the hype. It's the, no, let me get into this. So the next dunk that's on the radar, we would have, it just released two weeks ago, the Nike SB Dunk Low, City of Love. Now, we all know by now, because they was hyped up, but then they died to me. It's like the Nike SB Dunk Low, City of Love. You had the coconut milk and the burgundy crush, which I tried for both. I hit on the Burgundy Crush. It's just, you know, it's just about love. So for Valentine's Day, Nike released a pack. Um, shockingly, the white pair went a little more crazy by I think like three bucks on the resale market. But uh, people sought off to those more. Um, they had nice creamy coconut milk. And um, they, got a, they, they, they got a nice velvety looking suede look to them. Um, I ain't hit. I'm going to try for them tomorrow. I already know what fit I will wear with them if I get them. A lot of people they try to get them because of that, that. It's just all white. When you put the red lace on them, though, it pops. Now, I got the Burgundy Crush pair. Funny, I did the video, which I did the unboxing and review of those today. So I'll probably just put that out tomorrow. And um, let y'all see my take on them. I think they fire. Um, they're, they're a little overhyped, you know. But I think, uh, again, it's just a Nike SB dunk situation. To me, they fire, but it's not like a, a chunky dunk or something like that, if that makes sense. So, but um, definitely, I hope y'all boys can cop those, man. With the burgundy, you can't go wrong and go with a lot of things. And uh, for the retail price, man, of um, $125, I believe, you can't go wrong with those. So, that's a, that's a big restock. Hopefully, it's enough pairs. And also... Bring the resale market down. So if I don't hit, I could purchase the coconut milks. Now, one of the most under the radar sneaker, at least for me and people I knew, and a few others for what I read out there, was the Nike SB Dunk Albino. Now these joints right here, I'm letting y'all know right now. When I first seen them, I'm like, okay, they're just an off-white, beige, whatever y'all want to call them, but a black. Check with the lines on them. So 
you know, I slipped up. I ain't gonna lie. I didn't put in the work. And that was before I had the channel really rocking. So someone hit me up and was like, you gonna go for these? I was like, nah, it's just a basic dunk. Now, I don't know if they know. Y'all know how the sneaker game go. They ain't put me on or what it is. But this is a shout out to jujitsu. And it's like, basically with the belts you could get. If anybody know you do martial arts, you, you get different colored belts. It's cool, man. You get the... You get the red, the purple, the blue, the white. It's just all these colors, man. And, you know, as you wear them, or let's say as you skate in them, um, you know, you scuff them up and it's going to reveal the colors under there. I do I do think the colors could have been a, a little more placed better to wear as if you rock them. You know, when you de deconstruct them, it would have looked more smooth how the colors connect on these. It's like colors everywhere. And I know what y'all going to say. Y'all going to just got to know how to pull them off or... It's supposed to be a fun sneaker to just rock like that and not connect. However, I'm excited. I like fun sneakers. I like stuff to where you can you can you can take materials off and you know you could clean this up and, and something else come. That that's that's me. I need these. I want them. I was just on eBay, you know, looking at them, and the guy was like two thirty something. I'm like I'm like eh, I ain't, you know I ain't spending that bread on that. You know, it's bigger fish to fry. So hopefully your boy can hit, man. Or if I don't, like I say, the resale value go down and I still could, you know, do a little thing because they clean, man. So just like uh, with this is just building on camaraderie, you know, it says Albino and, P and Preto's lifestyle design showcase the creative transition of martial arts culture from beginning to end known for their modern approach to classic kimonos. The Nike SB and AP Dunk Low brings Jiu-Jitsu tradition to an iconic silhouette with materials and aesthetics reflected of their unique aesthetics and commitment to culture. Rendered in heavy guard, heavy gauge canvas, the AMP Dunk Low emulates the fabrics and textures in a tonal execution with contrast and black touches and graphic accents and forms by their distinct uniform design language. Through their stealth wear away details and five color coded lace options, the AMP Dunk Low brings in the hues of the belt system, representative of the progress and dedication shared by BJJ and skateboarding. Finished with embroidered details, co-branding, tongue tags, insole art, and custom packaging, the AMP Dunk Low's pros Discipline details are reflected in a 360 degree homage to training culture and community. So I already told y'all how I felt about these. I gave y'all what they put out there. I ain't nothing more to say about these. I want them. I need them. And that's that. So what's your boy? Good luck. Last but not least, I had to save this for last. I was debating if I was going to say that, talk about the albinos last because they do a little more. But nah, the hype in the United States and across to the UK, across the world, right now in the dunk world, the Nike SB Dunk Low Deep Royal. This is major. Now, me personally, everybody, I'm going to read y'all what they say. Y'all see where I'm coming from. So, the Nike SB Dunk. Low Deep Royal, appearing in a can't-miss combination of Deep Royal, blue and vintage green. This on the ledger drop is exactly what SB fans from over two decades ago have come to associate with SB Dunk. That striking blue shade sit over a matching green for that throwback Seattle Seahawks look. While cell white covers the swoosh logo midsole and the Nike italics on the heel tab. Finishing off this pleasant, simple approach is a matching green rubber outsole and the same royal blue on the exterior stitching that attaches the upper with the lower. Now, this is where I'm going at right here, man. Now, I know everybody want to say this is Seattle Seahawks vibes, but what y'all not putting out there is it does have the throwback jersey look, but then the green, that's not Seattle Seahawks green. Y'all yeah, know that's Philadelphia Eagles Midnight Green. So if y'all want to say Seattle Seahawks vibes, well, guess what? It's just a flamboyant Philadelphia Eagle new uniform Midnight Green vibe. I got to have them. 
Y'all know what I could do with these? Whether you just chilling or whether you just, y'all know I'm rocking them joints. Warm weather tailgate is going down. And it's rumored that they are made out of pig skin. You know, I don't know what the what is on that. But the suede is plush out of any dunk I've seen in a long time. I need these. I want them. Um, they for, for the resale amount right now, they're going for like 142 around there. So with fees, you're still going to pay about 180 But no matter what, I'm going to get them. If I don't hit them tomorrow, I'm going to get them. I'm just knowing that I'm going to get them. They too smooth. And it's like a lifestyle sneaker to me. They flashy though, but they still on the on the low. It's like a nice little fall vibe sneaker, you know? But like I say, I know what I'm going to do with these. Everybody in America is talking about them because we didn't get the release yet like they did with this with the sneakers on release so this is they say this is a restock but this never dropped on sneakers so well whatever they putting that it out with that um my advice going into this drop you know how they gonna do they gonna have them all in a row some people have a method where they gonna hit every sneaker going down in a row i'm just gonna go on my heart say the pairs i want i'm gonna hit hit up i'm gonna hit up hit up i'm going albino first deep royal then I'm gonna come for the coconut milks. Then I'm gonna go for the uh then I'm gonna go for the fogs. And I'm gonna pass on the um them clays. But I'm excited because this right here, it's like, could I just get one please? But I need them albinos, man. So again, I'm excited. I know, hey, y'all don't understand, but wish me good luck. I really wanted these. Y'all don't understand. I wish y'all good luck. Thanks for watching, subscribe, and we'll be in touch tomorrow on the IG and the YouTube. Love.